Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. In this lesson, um, I wanted to share with you um, solving for x by completing a square and uh, most of the students usually struggle when it comes to completing a square i mean you can solve for x uh, in a quadratic equation by uh, using the factor i mean uh, simplifying by grouping or using uh, the product and sum method which i i teach uh, in the mathematics and three or you can solve for for x in a quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula but um, I, I think there is a lesson that i did whereby i'm comparing the three whereby you are solving using factorizing that is the product sum method or you are factorizing i mean you're solving for x by com uh, completing a square like this one or you're solving for x by using the quadratic equation but in this particular lesson the question says solve for x by completing the square so you are forced to complete the square you cannot um simplify this problem in the other two methods because they will penalize you mark you strictly need to complete a square so what are we given here we are given x squared plus 5x minus 3 it says this is equal to zero so we are supposed to complete a square in this case so how do you go about completing a square you need to definitely uh practice that you take the uh negative three to the other side okay before we do that actually you just have to ensure that the number which is the coefficient of x here you must ensure all the time that it is a one so if the number is a one in this case you tick to say already it is done the proper way if it is not a one you have to first divide by that number in each and every part so that you are remaining with a one so if it was a two you're going to divide each and every item by two but in this case as i said um everything is in check now take the three to the other side if you do that you are going to have x squared plus 5x it is equal to 3 that's the first part and then the next part that uh, you need to do in this case is to look at the coefficient of x which is this number it is the coefficient of x in this number the coefficient of x we're going to divide it by 2 so how am i going to write it i'm going to say x squared plus 5x and then plus remember i said i'm going to divide the coefficient of x by 2 so it is going to be 5 so when i'm dividing by 2 it's same as saying 5 times 1 over 2 because i'm finding half the coefficient of that so 5 times 1 over 2 and then what i'm going to do I'm going to square that so i think it would be better if i use a different um pen so what i'm having in this case i take the coefficient of of x which is five i divide by two which is in this case i can even write it like that five over two it's the same as saying five times 1 over 2 you can test with your calculator 5 over 2 and 5 times 1 over 2 is the same thing it will be that then i square that um, coefficient of half the coefficient of x 
and then it will be equal to 3 plus and then what I did on the left I must also do on the right which is 5 times 1 over 2 squared okay so now when I simplify then this further I'm going to have x squared plus 5x and then plus as I said uh, 5 over 2 squared if you simplify with the calculator the inside bracket symbol becomes 5 over 2 squared and then you are going to get on the uh, other side you can now simplify all of it with the calculator which is 3 plus 5 times 1 over 2 and you square it so if you find the um, answer there is 37 over 4 so that's what you're having here as 37 over 4 so now with this um as our um as our um, simplified version what i want you then to focus on is you see we have got a square there and we have got a square there so what you do is you're going to write your your bracket and have your square that's what they mean actually when they say we're completing a square so and then i want you to focus on this number where there is a square we have x and where there is a square we have 5 over 2 so when you write it you're going to have x plus 5 over 2 by doing that the 5x is already included in that it is equal to 37 over 4 now some students usually um, get uh, confused to say how does this become this um, with that what you can do remember if I can expand in this case x plus 5 over 2 and then again I say x plus 5 over 2 now if I expand this become x squared and that becomes plus 5 over 2 x then I've got that which is plus 5 over 2 x and then that and that which is plus 5 over 2 times 5 over 2 which is 5 over 2 squared so I've got x squared now if I add this in the center I'm going to have 5 over 2 and then plus again 5 over 2 you see that I'm getting 5x there plus 5 over 2 squared now you can see that actually the 5 is already included in the square so you can see that it takes me back so that is um, a proof to say uh, this part is actually this whole part that's what they mean when they're actually saying complete a square so when you have done that you have to simplify now how do you simplify you might for you to get rid of this particular square you must square root both sides you must square root both sides and when you square root you must say plus or minus on the other side and then when you do that the square will fall away now you've got 5 plus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 37 over 4 and then when you have done that you have to now transpose or take this uh, particular 5 to jump the sign then it will be x is equal to minus 5 over 2 plus or minus square root of 37 over 4 so that's how we solve for x in this case they said solve for x by completing the square so what um, you can do is you can literally take uh, this answer and you try to substitute it in the original 
you can take that answer and substitute it into uh, this original and you can see that it, it can actually uh, give you that so let me try to do that if I take my calculator there and say remember my answer is x is equal to I'll take the positive one which is minus 5 over 2 I'll take the positive one and then it was square root of 37 over 4 so if equal to so this is my positive one so I go to my original which is uh, at the top there which is x squared so it is my answer squared plus 5 into answer because the answer is long minus 3 this must give me a 0 so you can see it is giving me a 0 I can take the negative one again and prove it into the original it will also give me a 0 meaning I did manage to complete a square successfully so this is how you can complete a square in this case um, I mean so for x by completing a square um, I hope this was of benefit to you remember to press the like button or you can subscribe to our channel so that every time we post a new video you will be notified of some new material that we are adding thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you